हाई एवरी वन अवर टूडे टॉपिक टाइप कन्वर्शन इन पाइथन बिफोर स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन लेट एस ट्राई टू रिकॉल वाट हैव ए डिस्कस इन अवर लेक्चर ट्वेंटी थ्री कैन वी यूज स्प्लिट फंक्शन विथ स्ट्रिंग्स वाई डू वी यूज स्प्लिट फंक्शन विथ इनपुट फंक्शन वट इज द डिफाल्ट पैरामीटर ऑफ स्प्लिट फंक्शन can we use comma operator as a parameter of split function we covered each and every point in detail in the lecture 23 if you haven't watched that please watch that for the better understanding of this video the link is given in the description box in the last lecture a exercise is given to you let us see the solution for that exercise the exercise is write a python program to find area of a rectangle for given length and breadth the rules are receive length and breadth dynamically second rule is use f strings to print the results by following these rules you need to do this exercise then see this is the solution for the given exercise first we need to read length and breadth dynamically nothing but at the run time you need to receive the values for length and breadth so for that we discussed already input function we use the return type of the input function is string type that's why we need to convert into your required data type in this example i want to store length as a float type breadth as a float type if you want to store length breadth as int type you can write int in place of float that is as per your requirement then calculate the area by using the formula length into breadth i am storing that result in the variable area finally i want to print that area by using f strings in the 11th statement we are trying to print the result where we are using f strings we covered f strings already so within the braces we need to write the variable name let us try to execute this program see the program prompts you to enter length of the rectangle i am entering the length 25.3 float value and enter breadth of the rectangle we need to enter breadth also and press enter area of the given rectangle is 316.25 this is the answer after watching this lecture you will know what is type conversion what is type casting do we lose the data in explicit type conversion do we use any built in functions for explicit type conversion first let us try to understand what is type conversion every value or every object in the python has a data type if we declare 20 that has a data type integer internally if we write a value 20.5 the data type of that value is float so as per our requirement whenever we are working with the programs there is a need to convert the value of one data type to another data type it is possible to convert the values from one data type to another data type so type conversion is the process of converting data of one data type to another data type simply type conversion is converting the values from one type to another type in python type conversion can be done in two ways see the categories of type conversions first type is implicit type conversion second one is explicit type conversion coming to the implicit type conversion it is automatic type conversion as a developer you are no need to write any extra code to implement implicit type conversion in implicit type conversion python automatically converts one data type to another data type without any user involvement we are not writing any extra code to implement this python always converts smaller data types 
to larger data types to avoid the loss of the data. In implicit type conversion, the Python is trying to convert smaller data type values to larger data type. If we do reverse of this, there is a chance of loss the data. Generally, this is the common rule in all programming languages. See the example program for the implicit type conversion. A assignment 5 integer value, B assignment 5.5 where B is float variable and finding sum of A plus B. Now I want to print the sum value. Here the A value is 5, B value is 5.5. When we are implementing A plus B, automatically the A also converted into the float value. The lower value will be converted into the higher value. Lower data type will be converted into the higher data type. Integer will be converted into the float type. This will be done automatically. We are not writing any extra code to convert from into to float. For the better understand, let us try to print the data type of sum. Okay, The data type of the sum must be float type. Let us execute this. See now, sum value is 10.5. The data type of sum is float type because A is converted into the float and B is already float type. The sum will be calculated and that value will be assigned to the sum. So, this is an example for implicit type conversion. See the second category explicit type conversion. This is manual type conversion as a programmer. We need to write some extra code to implement explicit type conversion. As per our requirement, the user has to convert a particular value or particular expression into specific type. With this explicit type conversion, there is a risk of data loss. Since we are forcing an expression to convert from one type to another type. To implement this explicit type conversion, we need to use some built-in functions provided by the python like int float function string function etc here int function is used to convert any expression into integer data type if you want to convert into float data type we can use float data type if you want to convert any value into string type you can use string functions and so on this explicit type conversion is also called type casting because the word cast means changes, conversions. So, explicitly we are trying to change the type. That's why explicit type conversion is also called type casting. Let us see the example for the explicit type conversion. Here I declared a variable number float assigning the value 10.5. Now, I want to convert this float value into integer type. For that we need to use int function. Observe here in the sixth statement we are using int function. Now this float value will be converted into integer value. After that I want to know data type of the number int after conversion. For that we use type function and I want to know the value of that integer also number integer. Execute it. See the output data type of number int is int because we converted into int after converting number int value is 10. So, here you can easily understand 0.5 data will be last as we discussed already while implementing explicit type conversion there is a chance of last the data here you can understand it easily actual our value is 10.5 but we are getting 10 only into the number int variable there is a loss of the value 0.5. This is the exercise for you. So, don't depend on any resource. Try to write the program by your own. Then only your programming skills will be improved. So, your exercise is see this program. I want to calculate a bill and already in this program price per unit is given that is 10. Quantity is 20. I want to find the total bill, total cost, total cost assignment price per unit into quantity then I am trying to print that value but if you execute this program you will get an error so try to understand the error try to correct this program that is your exercise check your knowledge what you learned from this lecture 
what is type conversion what is type casting do we lose the data in explicit type conversion do we use any built in functions for explicit type conversion if this video is useful to you please subscribe the channel like the video and share the videos thank you